like to challenge you. Why don't you give God a chance? Why don't you take God at His word? Why not believe what He says? You know, today we have so many people who want to believe what God said after it has been filtered through their particular understanding. I've reached the point in my life where dynamic equivalence just doesn't do it for me. I want to know what God said and not what somebody thinks God said. So I like to read literal translations of the Bible which tell me what God said and then test them. And I will admit openly that there are many, many questions which seem to be unanswerable and which could shake your faith. And some of them have shaken my faith. But then I've always followed the following pathway. I've always said, I do not understand this. I don't know why it is like it is. But I am not going to allow this to be a stumbling block in my relationship because I have a whole level of evidence that you are involved in my life. I'm going to take this morsel of doubt and I'm going to shelve it in an upper shelf. I'm not going to make it prominent. I'm just going to leave it there. And sometimes it has lain there, this idea, for a month, a year, two years, three years, five years. And then miraculously at some point you find some information which is that aha moment. And you find out that that which you doubted is absolutely vindicated by science or the archaeologist or circumstances or whatever it is. And you file it as solved. And in this way, I have overcome mountains of obstacles on my path, walking with God on a daily basis. I would like to challenge you to take God at His word. I would like to challenge you to ask Him to be involved in your life. And I would ask to challenge you by faith to accept that he is involved and then see that he is involved.